very much, Tom, and uh, a very warm welcome to everyone. Uh, I hope you're all well and keeping safe. So pipes, they're pretty amazing, right? They allow us to distribute clean water to millions of people and take away their wastewater for treatment. They're one of the most, if not the most essential asset for a utility. So ensuring these pipes are in good health is critical to providing water and wastewater services to utility customers. And yet, curiously, in terms of asset management, even though we're chiefly interested in the health of the pipes themselves, we don't directly monitor them. Instead, we monitor the hydraulic activity within the pipes, pressure and flow, and from these, infer the condition of the pipe. And this approach is uh, by no means ideal. And we know this because, well, we've been doing distributed pressure and flow monitoring for decades now. And that's definitely helped us move the needle forward in terms of understanding our networks better. But our mains are getting old and deteriorating rapidly. And we still don't fully understand what's going on below the ground. Over the last six years, US utilities have had to deal with a 27% rise in the rate of their main breaks. That's two trillion gallons of water and $10 billion of potential revenue that's been lost every single year. This in spite of the fact that utilities collectively spend nearly $3 billion per annum repairing these breaks and keeping the networks running. And this is exactly why 79% of utilities reported last year that they feel like they're unable to run their current mains replacement and renewal program of just 1% a year. As an industry, we have to get better at understanding the health of our networks and we are getting there. Whereas historically we've used age-based and hydraulic models for pipe health, which have been shown to be unreliable by a scientific study. In the last few years, we've seen the rise of machine learning techniques, which are able to incorporate much wider data sets into their asset health predictions. But we're still not monitoring how the pipe themselves are behaving. And so in spite of however many neural networks or digital twins we adopt, we have to remember that the quality of the predictions that we make on asset health will only be as good as a data that's fed into those models. If we want high quality predictions, we have to generate high quality data. And so that's exactly what we at Data Technics are doing with SIPS, the Critical Infrastructure Pipeline Protection System. SIPS is an IoT system that allows utilities for the first time ever to get data on the structural behavior of their water and wastewater mains in real time. This is achieved by bonding our flexible, low power printed sensors to the external walls of pipes, entirely non-destructively to monitor their stress. And by doing this, we can for the first time characterize how pipe structures respond, not just to hydraulic activity, but also the underground environment in which the pipes are embedded. So being able to pick up when there's a sudden large spike in load to the pipe because of traffic or when the ground falls away from underneath the pipe and creates a stress zone that then leads to a leak and then to a burst. And all of this at high frequency and high resolution. This is the first time as an industry we'll be able to directly monitor the structure of the pipe over time. And in doing this, we're really looking to deliver two broad benefits to our customers. For asset managers who are struggling to deal with tight budgets, we can ensure that every single dollar spent by them is deployed in the most efficient manner possible, replacing only those pipes that absolutely have to be replaced for the ops teams, we can help them transition away from a reactive repair model to a proactive maintenance model, and so ensure better continuity of supply to customers and prevent environmental fouling. To bring this to life, if a utility had scheduled the replacement of a one kilometer main, say, that had been suspected as a failing main, this would cost around $2 million. And instead of replacing that main straight away, if by installing SIPS for 2% the cost of replacement, the utility could conduct a condition assessment. And if SIPS was to determine that the pipeline was in fact healthier than anticipated, SIPS would instantly provide a 50x ROI to that utility. And with SIPS, we want to make the life of our utility customers easier by empowering them with high quality insights so that they can make more informed decisions. We've worked closely with utilities in the UK, identifying their pain points and ensuring SIPS addresses these. And this began with United Utilities, the largest provider of water and wastewater services in the UK, when in 2018, we were admitted onto their innovation lab. This in turn led to initial deployments with UU, and we're now installing our technology on their large diameter critical trunk mains. Uh, in fact, I've literally just got back from site uh, to, <laughs> to, to uh, deliver this presentation. Uh, we're also working with several other UK, Spanish and North American utilities to run pilots on their networks too. 
Of course, we wouldn't have been able to build that technology and deploy it if it weren't for our incredible team who come from a range of business and technical backgrounds and are completely driven to revolutionize the way that we think about proactively monitoring our assets and ultimately benefit, benefiting the utilities, the customers and the environment. And I just want to close really by saying that, especially in these worrying and uncertain times, the staff within water companies are still going in to ensure we have water flowing through our taps. Having as many decision-making tools as possible can really make a difference. We started Data Technics to empower utilities with unprecedented knowledge of the behavior of assets through direct pipe monitoring. And we're really optimistic that the future is bright, not just for us, but the whole sector and hopefully global society. So thank you very much.